So, hey, friend, let me start out by saying I love y'all. And I know that's a little wonky for the internet, but the support and encouragement that y'all give me really keeps me going and in providing information. So that's first and foremost. The second thing that I wanna tell you is that I've received a lot of requests uh, regarding whether or not people should look for mentors or should you sign up for a certain program. And here's my advice. If you do not have someone who is uh, in the notary signing agent industry at this time who is at your disposal to at least walk you through the documents for your first closing, then I suggest that you do seek some form of mentorship or a program. Now, do I offer mentorship? I do. Um, right now, I am booked. I have several different businesses. However, I am taking mentoring clients in Texas only. So if you have a, um, if you are in the Texas area, please feel free to sign the Calendly link, get on my calendar and we'll talk about mentorship and what your needs are. The third thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is SnapDocs. I've told you that SnapDocs is an excellent resource and I'd like for you to look at the following screens and I'm gonna take you through what it looks like on my phone, how many, um, calls or how many, you know, texts I receive from SnapDocs a day and what I want you to do when you click on that link. Hey, so this is TJ with Solutions by TJ and I just wanted to go through today and show you guys how many uh, jobs I receive from SnapDocs, okay? This started at 7.15 this morning and that's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen jobs. So you look at these links. This is just in my zip codes. Now I don't go all over town, but I'm gonna click on one of these. And here's what I want you to do. When you click on the job, this is what it looks like. So it has the title company's name. It says, Hello Latanya, are you available for this signing? I can say no, which I never say no. I'll just say nothing or I'll click I'm available. Once I click I'm available, I will then call Advantage Title Company and ask for Christy Barrett because she's the one that sent this out. So I'll call the Texas Division of Advantage Title, ask to speak to Christy Barrett, and let her know that I just pressed the I'm available button. If those documents are still available, then I would love to do this, do this job for her. And I'd also like to send her my information and see if she has other jobs. This is how you start building a relationship with these people. Every time you talk to them, you call them. You say, hey, Christy, this is Latanya. Um, I just uh, noticed that you posted a job in SnapDocs and I am available. I'd like to do this job if it is still available. If not, if you have anything else that comes up, please do not hesitate to call my number directly. Let me give you my number. And that's how you do it. And you, bit by bit, if you are not stopping by title companies, then you are actively calling these companies as they come up because you see that they're posting jobs. So that is one way that you start building relationships with people who you know are looking for um, notary signing agents to close on jobs versus going to your local title company that's around your house or on your route to work because you don't know if they're actually using um, mobile notaries in your area. This way it's guaranteed. They're posting jobs, they're looking for somebody, so you know that they'll use you. Now, I'm not saying that it's not a good job to, to stop by the title companies that are in your area right around your house. It's still a good job, um, still a good idea for you to let them know that you exist, okay? So I hope this is helpful. If you need any information on this, please do not hesitate to leave a comment below and let me know if this is helpful. If it's not helpful, give me a comment. Okay guys, thanks. The fourth thing, Doc Verify. If you have signed up with Doc Verify, when they send you your digital certificate and you've been activated, 
So this is after you've already been activated and you need to upload your digital certificate to the Secretary of State. This is what you do. This is what they don't tell you. The digital certificate. Make sure that you download it onto your computer. Save it under a different name. Then upload the same document to the Secretary of State. That's it. They make it seem like rocket science. And if you have done it or thinking about doing it, you'll see what I'm saying. Save this doggone video for when you do, if you do. Again, download the digital certificate to your computer. Rename the document, upload it to the Secretary of State. It's that simple. That took me five hours to figure out. It has taken other people that have called me on my phone at random a long time and they've been trying to figure it out. So I thought it was important for me to add that here. And lastly, if you haven't done so already, please make sure that you um, like this video, subscribe to my channel. I have a whole lot more coming. Um, if you need mentorship, again, schedule an appointment on Calendly with me. Leave in the comments any questions that you have. Also, there are links for supplies as well as printers and scanners and everything that you need that I've suggested. I ask that you please use the links that I've provided because they are affiliate links. That means that if you spend whatever, then I get you know anywhere from 3% to 10% of that price. It doesn't go to you. You know That's nothing that you're paying for. That is what the um, seller of that product is paying me. So you won't pay more for it just because you use me. But that helps support me. So I love y'all. Love me back just a little bit, please. Okay? God bless you. I'm rooting for you. And I'm steadily putting out content to show that I care because it's a lot of work to do. Y'all take care.